All dryers are manufactured with a safety power cutoff switch that is made when it's working properly and the belt isn't broken, giving the right amount of tension to make that switch. If the belt is to break, the switch is cut and you will no longer have power to your dryer when you push start. My name is Tom. I am the owner and operator of TriGen Appliance Repair. I'm a third generation in my family to do appliance repair work and own a small business. I'm going to show you guys how to fix this problem in this video right now. First thing you're going to want to do, disconnect the power from the wall. 240 is pretty strong. You don't want to get shocked by that. You're going to need two screwdrivers, a traditional standard flathead, as well as a Phillips. The part number I'm going to list here is specific to this dryer. It's a GE. Do not use this belt or this part number if this is not your dryer. Okay, to release the top panel, get a flathead screwdriver and pry upwards to release it. Don't forget there's a small ground wire that's clipped onto the back of this dryer at least. Next thing we're going to do is release the two inside screws, one on the left, one on the right. Me showing that there shouldn't be a belt on top if it's broken, it should be laying down on the ground somewhere. Okay, so we are going to release these two screws, one on the left, one on the right, and that is going to release our front door panel. You're going to want to remove the two wires that are going to this door switch before removing the panel, otherwise you will rip them out. If you lift up, that takes the weight off the glides or off the front panel that the drum rests on and makes it easier to take out. Set that to the side and remove the back access panel. This will give you access to the motor and the idler pulley or the tensioner pulley. And you can put the new belt on. I am reconnecting the spring here. You want to wrap the belt around the dryer spindle, bring it up and over pulling the belt at you while you're pushing the pulley, idler pulley away from you. Once it's in position, it will come to rest with the switch engaged. You can't really see the switch here because it's on the other side of the motor blocking it. But if you look down on it, you can see it from the top of the dryer. Okay, we're going to reinstall the access panel and pretty much do everything in reverse. This is a really simple repair, guys. So there's the two little tabs that stick out that you are going to put the panel on before closing it shut. It sort of hinges forward, lift up on the drum again as you push it in because that um, drum does rest on the door. Um, the door sort of housing on the inside there. Uh, put the two screws back in on the inside that hold the panel, the door panel. Pretty simple, reattach the two wires to the door switch so that your dryer knows the door shut or it will not start if you forget that. Reattach the ground clip, put the top panel back on, plug her back in and you're good to go. Thank you for watching. If you found this video to be of value, feel free to leave a donation. I do leave both links for my PayPal and Venmo in the description. At the very least, if you know someone that may benefit from this video, please share it, pay it forward. Thanks again. Have a great day.